over this land. We do need a revival. Amen. We just thank God for this day. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We just want to give our Savior all the honor, the glory, and the praise. Yeah. Amen. We come to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Amen. I thank God this day for Amen. The pulpit field that graces Rostrum today. Amen. Amen. And and for the new ministers, amen. 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 The new, uh, near future, amen. To give them that little piece of paper, God already had lights to them. Right. And uh, right. they amen. anointed them, That's amen. Right. We just want to do what the law said now. That's right. Amen. And we truly thank God uh, for all that is here. Amen. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Some people may think I'm crazy, but uh, I accept that. Amen. And to all the ones in the uh, live streaming and YouTube and whatever you're listening on. Amen. That's right. Amen. I, I just want you to know that I have been commanded and commissioned to preach nothing but the unadulterated gospel. Yeah. Yeah. God has commissioned me not to sugarcoat it. Yeah. Amen. And this is the time, and uh, if any preachers and pastors is, is listening, this is the time that we preach the word, not because of a seminary or theology, but the word of God under the anointing yeah. of God. That's all the way the people are going to get saved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The paper ain't gonna, not going to do it. I think the Bible says, how can he hear without a preacher? And how can he preach or she preach unless they be sent? So we got, we got a job to do starting in the pulpit. Amen. 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 I've been commissioned and commanded. Amen, amen. But before I go too far, you know, I, I want to thank God for the 15 years. Amen, 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 amen. But I, I, I want to take a moment out, really. And I believe he can hear me because he in glory. Amen for Pastor Hagen. Amen, because I didn't put a brick a uh, dope mm -hmm. or nothing in this building had been for him and his vision. Amen. I wouldn't have been here. Amen. Not for 15 years. Amen. 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 So, you know, I thank God for the forerunners. Right. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm not ashamed to tell people I didn't do anything but just, just came on God's command. Right. Amen. Amen. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. But I'm excited. For the 15 years. Some say I wouldn't make it three years. Uh, then I wouldn't make it five. On, but look on. at the 15. Yeah. Yeah, I like to be excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Amen. I'm just so happy to be here at St. Jude. Because I know this is the place I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Amen. I don't suppose to have no major church. Because if I was supposed to have one, God would have gave me one. So I'm satisfied. Amen. Amen in the Lord. Amen. 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 And to God be the glory. I want to say this uh, because the Lord didn't deal it with me. I'm so glad that in your household you got at least one person saved. Amen. Come on, right. Because the devil is really trying to tear up the family. And, and, and you are trying to live right. Uh, God is lifting you up. You are that beacon of light. Uh, you don't know that you are holy 
the family together. Right, you're going to be persecuted. Talk to yourself, man. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The more I try to do right, the more my family is like, go astray. But I'm yet going to hold on. Huh? Nah, I'm sorry. I don't have no perfect family. <laughs> I know. I got some hell raisers. Amen. Amen. But the Bible says, greater is he that's in me. That he that's in the world. So something we got to call out. Huh? See, we call things out behind closed doors. But I want to put mine in the atmosphere. <laughs> So the devil knows that people know. Uh, I wish I had some help. Amen. Amen. I could go further, but I'm going to move on so we can get out of here. But, you know, y'all be steadfast on removal. Always abound in the word of God. Then you know that your labor is not in vain. Because you're going to be tried. Yes, Lord. Yes, yeah, you're going to be tried. So many people, you know, you're talking about a revival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're having a revival right now. Yeah. Yeah. In this <laughs> pandemic time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But God is showing you yes, ah, who's mm -hmm. trusting. Mm -hmm. oh, who gonna go and be a witness for him? Yes. Because we in a battle. Somebody come on. Yes. We in a battle. Uh -huh. You cannot fight no battle. Run. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God is looking for some brave soldiers yes. that gonna stand up in the midst of hell uh -huh. and say, for God I be. Uh -huh. And for God I die. Yes. And like the women said, yes. We run from the pandemic, but we we don't run from cancer. We don't run from HIV. We don't run from high blood pressure that will kill you. But you'll stay behind them. Come on, come on. Help me, Holy Ghost. Well, it is God's divine way of me leaving here. I'm gonna leave here anyway. Uh, because your days your day already have been printed on the calendar. Now you're with us yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. All right. All right. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Uh, we thank God. I thank God. I, I, I do. I do. Because you know the thing about it when trouble arrives, he's a trouble fixer. Can I get with us yet? See, the thing about it is, when, when you push down, only thing God is doing is raising you up. You can't see it now, but give me a couple more months. You'll see when you're a little bit stronger. But when you've been pushed down and talked about and ridiculed, oh, I feel like preaching already. A couple of months, you'll look back and say, I know I was that strong. He brought me through the storm. He kept me. That's The tall and snare I've already come. But the grace that brought me safe and grace will lead me on. Oh, let me get my let me get to my pop in here. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Hold on, church. Hold on. Be faithful. Over few things. He'll make you rule over many. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I've been on a battle this week. That's all right now. But victory is mine. Yeah. Uh, victory is mine. See, I, I see why he tried to whip me. I see why he tried to whip y'all. Yeah. But hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, trouble. What to do? Yeah, yeah. But he's having a word of a, uh, uh, 
I'm better than those. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm better than yeah. I'm better than better. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Come here, Holy Ghost. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding. He will. Somebody say he will. He will direct your path. Yes, not Pastor Grant. I, I can't direct my own path. So that's why I had to lean on him. Ah, ah, Harrison, uh, Harrison uh, if, you, if you're listening to me, just keep leaning on it. Uh, it's going to be all right after a while. Yeah, you cut in the family. It's going to be all right after a while. You have your Bible. Oh my God. You have your Bible. Let's go to Ephesians. Amen. That third chapter. Of Ephesians. Start in that seven verse. Oh, my I feel like I can just close the Bible this morning. Oh my God. gospel by the gift of God grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles 
the unsearchable riches of Christ. Mm -hmm. And to make plain, somebody said make plain. Make plain. To everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. In him, through faith, in him we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged because of my suffering for you, which are your glory. Uh, with the permission of the Holy Spirit, I want to talk from the subject this morning. Lord God, thank you for favor. Yes. Lord God, thank you for favor. As the Lord was giving me this message, I was looking at so many in the Bible that can stand and say, Lord God, thank you for favor. And you know, I looked at Paul and all that he had did to belittle the Christians. Uh -huh, uh -huh. How he had persecuted the Christians. Yeah. Right. Now, before I go a step further, we can look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, before we really came into the realization of knowing Christ, we used to talk about the Christians also. Yes. yes. Come on now. The big car. Taking the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking the money. Sleeping. Amen. Amen. So much was going on talking about the church. My God. But once you came into the realization uh, that knowing Christ, the strip has flipped. Yeah, yes. that's right. That's right. Uh, instead of talking, now you are praying. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Come on, somebody help me here. Yeah. I looked at Paul here, and even at that uh, first verse, he said, For this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ for the sake of the Gentile. See, see, the thing is that Paul was under house arrest uh -huh. in Rome for preaching about Christ. And see, uh, 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 the religious leaders, uh, help me somebody, mm -hmm. uh, in Jerusalem, who felt threatened uh, uh, by Christ's teaching. Uh, you, you, you know, the thing about it is that even now, e even now, even now, even now, people are threatened about the teaching. I'm not talking about the people in the street. I'm talking about people who come to church. Uh -huh. That sits under the word. Uh -huh. They are threatened by the word of God. Uh -huh. Because if you don't want to do right, that's your business. Uh -huh. huh? But why come if you don't want to do right? Uh -huh. Why come if you don't want your life to get better? Why come if you don't trust the law? Yeah. Yeah. Why come to belittle the people that try to get elevated? Yeah. My God, my God. Yeah. Then why you go back in the world and in the streets and talk about the church? Uh -huh. Amen. Talk about the people in the church. Amen. Uh -huh. So to the Lord, let me tell you something. I was sitting on my porch. And, 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 the, and the spirit spoke to me so plain, Mother Randolph. He said, Lord, let me tell y'all something. The spirit said, Long as you in the wheel uh -huh. and doing my wheel, uh -huh. doing what I tell you, be not talking to Christy, be talking to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> what they're doing, they're called Babylon's name, but you're talking to God. When affliction come on you, then you think that somebody has did something to you, but you don't repent. See, a lot of people are sick because they haven't repented. But they put the mouth 
on the people of God right. and talking about God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I tell you. Don't trust Pastor Graham. Yeah, yeah. Read it for yourself. Right. See, when you read it for yourself, God gives you yeah. a revelation. Yeah. Oh. In the second and third verse, it says, God gave Paul special responsibilities. Uh -huh. See, see, uh, uh, carrying God's word. Uh, that, that's an honor. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's an honor. Yeah. God wants to trust you. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Good God from Zion. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You got to say what he wants you to say. That's right. Sometimes it might be bitter yes. to the one that heard me. It might be bitter for you saying but God knows it'll come out sweet on the end. Y'all want to help me, somebody help me. Uh, God, God wants us to be committed unto him. Because somebody help me now. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I got to hurry up. But don't let nobody in your family outside discourage you. Because you the one that can bring them to life. Right. Because when the king gets you down, you, you, hey, hey, you see something special about them. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. They won't fall. We keep pushing. But God is that meaningful. He won't let you fall. Yeah. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Uh, yeah. In 5 and 6, say God's plan was not to reveal. See, See, he was using Paul. See, God don't reveal certain things to a certain time. That's right. Can I get a witness here? That's right. That's right. See, 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 one through six, uh, uh, God is talking about God's plan. Yes. Seven through 11, he talked about witnessing. Uh -huh. And 12 and 13, he talked about confidence and bold and being bold. Oh, I can't. See, see, the thing about it is, God don't reveal some things we can't handle. That's it, that's it. Can I tell you something? See, God not gonna give me something that St. Judah can't handle. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness uh -huh. Now, 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 uh, uh, what about the churches that was big? I don't want to call no names on the alley. Amen. Uh -huh. Now, God might give them a, another revelation. Uh -huh. For his people. Because his people might be a step higher than we are. Uh, see, you're in the second grade. But see, the thing about it is, hey, if you're above the rest of the second graders, see, the thing about it is, they can't go but so far. Because they got to get the other second graders to come up. I come back this morning with no eloquent word, but I'm trying to help somebody. Right. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. In, that seven, in that seven verse, he says, oh, I became a servant of the gospel by the gift of God's grace. Yeah. Um, through the working of his power. Y'all see that in, in your Bible? Yeah. He didn't say nothing about my power. Right. He said his power. Yeah. And then through uh, his gift, <laughs> And, 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 and he's talking about God here. Yeah. See, see, the thing about it is, you got to uh, uh, have the gift of God, have an ear to hear, uh -huh. and a mindset to follow. Right. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. To follow him. See, Paul here, Paul, uh, 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 he said, you are not an apostle, you, may, uh, you are an apostle, and you may not even be a evangelist, he was talking but God will give you the opportunity to tell others about Christ. Yeah. In other words, he's telling the people, you might not be an apostle. You might not be an evangelist. But God will give you the opportunity to tell others about Christ. Amen. Now that word gift, when you become a, 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 a Christian, that we all should have a, a gift of witness. Uh, to go out and tell somebody about Christ. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and the Bible said, although I'm less than the least of God's people, this grace was given to me to preach the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. See, see, the thing about it is that Paul knew, oh uh, my God, that he, he wasn't a bag of chips and all of that. Can I get a witness there? He, he was humble uh, so that he could let me feel, you know, look at here, I'm not all of that, but I am a servant of God. And I am speaking for God. Can I get a witness there? See, see, once you sold out, uh, when you go out in the streets and start to tell people, they can feel the anointing uh, as it flows out of your spirit. Can I get a witness there? See, because when you start talking and being a witness and, and you telling somebody what God said, it comes from the belly. Somebody help me preach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't talk that yang yang talk and be a witness at the same time. Can I get a witness? You can't live a life of the world and think you will go out and be an effective witness at the same time. Can I get a witness there? You can't be a half-baked Christian that you gonna go out there and be a uh, you you never but a fake and a fraud. Uh, but God don't like it. Huh? I somebody tell you. Uh, he don't like it. You gonna be for him? Or you gonna be against him? Uh, my God. But he said, make plain to everyone the ministration of the mystery which for the ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. Good God from Zion. See, we should know more today than we did yeah. last month. That's right. Ah, and definitely last year. You should have grown yeah. Yeah. somewhere down the line. That's right. Can I get a minute yeah. God should be able to share a little bit more with you and tell you a little bit more, give you a new revelation, now, a little bit more. Can I get a minute yeah. You can't give a revelation where you still in the same place where you were last year. Come on, somebody. Oh, my God. You got to grow somewhere. You got to study to show yourself approval. You got to go through hell preaching crap. You got to be beaten, scarred, and quit. Knocked down, laid out for Christ's sake. And he'll pick you up. Can I get a witness there? Is that the same lady that we just knocked down, laid out? Yes, that's up. But where is the star? You can't because God took his blood and wiped over them. You can't see it. Now they're confused. Can I get a witness there? The same one that got the whip here. He come after you. Can you help me? No, you help me. are hidden. There's so much in this package here. Yeah. There's so much. We'll never get all of it. Right. But God knows I want my share. Right. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me move on here. It says his, his intent was now through the church. Uh -huh. Amen. He talked about the brick and mortar either. He talked about our bodies. The manifold wisdom God should have made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realm. He talks about the angels. Ah, see the angels. Amen. He commanded the angels. Yes, he did. Amen. Uh, to come down and, 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 and his obedience and his advice. Uh -huh. uh, and to share even with us. Can I get a witness say? Oh my God. And, and see, the thing about it is heaven, what once we get this revelation. We shouldn't let nobody uh, change our mind. Yeah, yeah. Mother, see, see, Mother Rana, when I became the pastor, 
Can I tell it? I was a babe in this thing, did you hear me? I was a babe. So when people told me, and I said, well, they've been in church longer than I have. So maybe I should listen. But the more I grew in Christ, I found that they didn't even know the word. That's right, that's right. Amen. Yeah. So I had to do a about turn. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. Go ahead, tell the truth. And, and really had to kneel down and buckle and say, wait a minute, the word didn't say that. Because you go before a committee, a committee can be wrong. The Paul said, you got to take a stand. If you got to stand alone, can I get a witness here? You can't say, okay, so, so the majority voted. Y'all go here now. Stand. If I'm wrong, stand. And tell the Lord, God, I know it's wrong, but I'm going to stand. If they do it, I'm still going to let the people know, hey, that's wrong. That's how you be elevated. Can I get a witness? Because then God knows that you're not scared. Yeah. Uh, Come on now. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. The, the letter said, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh -huh. In him through in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Uh -huh. I like that. I like that. Look, when you were with your dad and mom, uh -huh. and you needed something, uh -huh. then you go to him and say, Dad, yeah. I need some shoes, Dad. Right. You went with confidence yeah. and boldness. Mom, I need a dress. Uh -huh. Mom, I need a suit. Uh -huh. That's the way Jesus wants us to come. Uh -huh. right. He wants us to come. Confident Amen. and boldly. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. We can talk to him about anything. Yes. Can I get a witness there? Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. You can say, uh, 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 Dad, I, I, I'd like to have a girlfriend. Uh -huh. He might tell you, you don't need one, boy. Uh -huh. I, I, I need a man, Dad. You don't need one. I am a man. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness there? Oh, yeah. oh my God. But you got to go to him, confident and bold. Talk to him. So you can get the right direction. Can I get a witness here? That's just the trouble we have it. We don't want to go to him boldly. We don't want to be steadfast in his word. We don't want to talk to him confidently. Uh, out of confidentiality. Can I get a witness here? We'd rather tell our girl, girl, and our boy, boy, all our business. And they can't help us a lick. But if you go to the Lord in prayer, I talk about secret prayer, he'll answer you by and by. Can I get a witness here? Be like David. I'll just wait a little while. Can I get a witness here? And he will answer you. Lord have mercy. And then 13, I said, uh, don't be discouraged of my suffering for you, which are your glory. I thank God for Paul this morning. I thank God for his writing. I, sitting in a prison, I, in a dungeon, I, but still writing God's word. I, still telling God's people I, how to live, I, how to do things right for God. I, can I get a witness here? We got to go back to Paul talking to the Ephesians. I, we got to learn how to put on the whole arm of God. I, can I get a witness here? Because the devil knows what we are missing. And wherever we missing, that's what he aimed for. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Have your feet started with the preparation of the gospel. Put on the heaven of salvation. Put on the breastplate. Oh my God. Help me somebody. I'm trying to preach this down now. Oh Lord God, thank you for favor. Thank you for the favor for
But it was you doing that because it was left up to great time. I've been quick preaching, now, but you told me to go ahead on, now, run this race. Now, can I get a witness here? Yeah, Lord. That's what keeps me going, sister, now, because I want to help somebody. Because heaven should be our home. Now, can I get a witness here? Yes. We're going to get whipped up. Y'all get ready. We're going to get whipped up. Y'all get ready. Everyone that works for Christ, get ready. Because you're going to get whipped up on. But that's all right. Yeah. They whipped Jesus, didn't he? Oh, they whipped him on the cross. Yeah, they put their spikes in his hand and his feet. How much more do you think they're going to do to us? That devil ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But the Bible said, by my stripes, we are here. Yeah. Let them talk, church. Let them talk. The Lord they talk, keep walking. Keep walking. Hold your head up. Lift up your head on you day. And let the King of Glory come in. Who is this King of Glory? Oh, God, the mighty battle. He's a battle Can I get a in the time of war? He's a war horse. Can I get a witness there? When people talk about that, yeah. Paul will tell Jesus, he'll calm you down. Next few minutes, he'll move. He'll move. That heavy burden. How do you know, Pastor Greg? He did it for me this week.
that he is your Lord and Savior, and he died that, that you may be saved, you are saved. And you can give God a hand clap of praise right now, right wherever you are, because you are saved. Amen. But if you say, you know what, preacher, I've been walking. I was walking with the Lord. But then I, I, I backslid a little bit. I kind of went the other way. I started looking at my circumstances. I, I took my eyes off of you and started looking at what's going on around me. Um, paying attention and doing things I shouldn't been doing, but God, I want to come back home to you. I want to rededicate my life to you. I want to get back on the right path with you. If that is you, if you're in the house, come forth, amen. And if you're at home, amen, just say, God, I'm coming back home to you. And I'm declaring and decreeing that you are my Lord and Savior. And when we church can give a hand clap of praise because there is somebody are looking for a church home, amen, to work out your soul salvation. You say, I want to be a part of a church family where I can get the word of God, I can feel the love of God, and I want to be a part of that community. If that is you, if you're in the house, come forth, amen. But if you're at home, amen, know that you can send us a line. You can comment on the, on the Facebook site you're looking at, or you can email us, or you can write us at, at St. Judah Spiritual Baptist Church. 43 Anacostia Road, Northeast Washington, D.C., 219. If that is you, amen, we just praise God for you and we welcome you to the St. Judah family. And when the doors officially open back open, we want to see you, amen, so we can just love on you and welcome you into the house, amen. and you're comfortable with where you are, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I just want to make a brief announcement. I, just, I truly just want to thank God. I, I, I just want to thank uh, the St. Jude family, amen, for the cards and the calls uh, for our anniversary, uh, 15th anniversary. I truly want to thank God and I, I, I want to thank God for uh, all the pastors and all the churches that have called and sent cards and, and things. Uh, if you're listening today, uh, I thank you all so much. You don't know, know how much determination you have given me. Amen. You know, heaven for Christ. Hey, this would have happened. And I just want to thank everyone. Amen. And I really want to give a shout out to my pastor's partners. Amen. They took care of me all year long. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. And I thank God. Amen. I just want to tell y'all, if I don't wake up in the morning, y'all stay with Jesus. He's the best thing. Amen. That ever happened. Amen. We're going to get this closed up. Y'all can cut it out. We can cut it off. Amen. 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 What I want you to do.